Okay, I've had a good look at the brake master cylinder now and I'm figuring out what needs to be done. First of all, this spring here that you can see, I need to detach that because that holds onto the brake pedal. And then, and then you see this arm that pushes into the the uh, brake master cylinder, that needs to be undone somehow. And then I need to detach the three or so brake lines going into the, the brake master cylinder and remove some bolts holding it in and disconnect it from the uh, brake uh, fluid reservoir and maybe then I might be able to start maneuvering it out. So I'm going to start with that process now by removing the spring using my fantastic tool. <laughs> this one here. When I bought this tool, I can't even remember where I bought it. I bought it originally to release those um, door catches that that hold uh, the insides of doors in place. And you stick it behind the door card and clip like so. But it's become very useful for other functionality, such as this. Removing the spring, there's the spring. I'm gonna remove it from that end first, hopefully. <laughs> And there we go. This tool is very useful. So I'll just leave that hanging. Uh, I might clean it later, but for now, I'll just leave it. All right. I'll be back in a while. Okay, so this here is the thing that I was talking about I have to remove. And I've actually loosened it already with a 19 inch uh, spanner. Uh, 19 millimeters, sir. 19, I think it's a 19. Yeah, 19. So it's moving. It's moving by hand, even. Now, I don't recall which direction I need to go to remove it, but. that this one is to keep it from going that way maybe this will do it <clears throat> oh look at all that grease Also, the, the protective rubber sheath that was around it is completely, completely destroyed. I have to get a new one of them. There we go, I see. Yeah, we have movement. Look at this. This is ready to come out. I think. There it is. Okay, so you have to push this one in. To my surprise, it moves. And now, I can take it out. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> so, there's the piece I've just removed. I had to clean the lens because it was covered in grease, like my shorts now are. Anyway, this is the plunger that pushes in the brake master cylinder when you press the brake pedal basically so look at that rusty and 
nasty looking, but I will clean that up. Let's, let's put it in the bucket and then put all the brake master cylinder bits in there. Might as well get the destroyed rubber as well. So this is the perished rubber, as you can see. It's a state, well that's a leaf, and this is the rubber. Nasty. All right, let's see if we can get the rest of it out. Okay. So, we've got the plunger out. Now, I guess I could try and loosen the three. Uh, three brake lines that are going in there. One, two, the third one is is in there. There's one 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 two there's the third one, trust me. There it is. Third one. One, two, three. Okay, and there's the brake bleeder. So, and then there's two bolts there, yeah, one, two bolts, nuts, uh, holding the brake master cylinder in place onto this piece of metal here, supporting structure. So, I will get to it. Okay, for this next bit, I need to remove the... Uh, brake lines and I need a 10 millimeter brake line spanner for doing that and you can see the missing piece in this uh, spanner and that allows me to, to do this to push through the brake uh, in itself and then to latch onto latch onto the Loosen, I need to go that way. And hopefully, that was a bit loosening. Yes, it was. Very good, very good. This brake line looks quite fresh, so it was probably replaced. At some stage. And then also, you can see here that it's, it looks like someone has been working here at some stage. It's very fresh looking. Well, in comparison to the other stuff like this. cylinder is nasty looking. I really want to get it out so we can have a better look at it. Alright. Number 10. Relief that it's turning. But like I said, this one looks the freshest. It's the other two that I will probably have great pains removing. And they're in very awkward positions as well. I'm going straight down, and the other one you can't even see. 
means I have to get more under the car and I don't like going under cars even with pack stands especially an old car because when they're really old there's lots of stuff ah look at that okay that one is now released Two to go. Okay, and now I have all three of the uh, brake lines loosened. There's that one, the first one, second one, and the third. So now what I have to do is remove these bolts, that one there. That one there, holding it in place. Um, and it's not just that easy. I think in order to get it out, I'm going to have to undo um, the connector at the top also. But I'll take a look at that after I've loosened these bolts. So on the other side, we have the, the nuts for those bolts. They're there to loosen them. So I'll do that job now. Okay, I got the two nuts and bolts out, holding the brake cylinder in place. That was a really awkward job because these ones here, which are on this side, were nearly impossible to, to um, hold still. But I got it moving eventually and after getting it out, I now realize that I have to put the wheel back on, take the, the uh, car stands uh, back out, and lower the car in order to do the next bit, which is uh, tack the brake cylinder from the top. But here I want to show you why it's important to have car stands. There's one, and there's the other. Both of them are supporting the car, because I was working underneath it, right? And if you look at this crappy jack, it has come down by itself. That's why you need to have car stands. So, I will remove the car stands. Well, actually, I'll put on the wheel first. Yeah, put the wheel back on first. And then... Okay, I've got the wheel back on. And let's have a look at what we have to do next. Move this water bottle out of the way. And down here... You can see I'm shining the light on the brakes under there. All right. And the thing is, there, you see that thing there? That is um, two wires connected to the brake cylinder so that when you press the brake, the brake light switch comes on. I have to remove those two wires and then, using a special tool, hopefully remove that switch from the brake cylinder because I cannot remove the brake cylinder while that's in place. So I do have a tool for removing that, I hope. Um, however, first I have to tackle those two wires. They're held in with two screws. And I'm going to do that now. Okay, I thought it was two screws holding them in, but this one is different to the last one I did. And basically, it was just two clips, so I could just lift them out in situ. Uh, let's see, can I show you the wires? Where did they go? There they are. Okay. Oh, there you see them. Okay. And the one is put some color on the cable, red. This one here. That one was uh, 
Come on, focus. That one was forward. It's so hard to work on this. Okay, so here you can see the brake master cylinder. Piece of wood there as well to keep it in place while I'm loosening the uh, the brake switch attached to the top of the brake master cylinder. And um, to do that, I use this extender connected to a uh, socket. And in addition, I have this tool, but it's a very awkward angle. I could have done with another extender, but I didn't have one. So I just used brute force and it started to budge. So if you watch now, This in position, you should see that it's turning, and that makes me very happy because once I get this bit out, oh, I think that's it. Yeah, it's just falling on the ground. I want that to happen, but look at the length of this chill. <coughs> Big long one. So there's the extender. It's a 22 inch, 22 uh, millimeter socket. I think it's 22, yeah. Extender tool, like so. And our brake switch will be on the ground. I see it. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> there it is, on the ground. <coughs> and now it's out. That makes me very happy indeed. Because now the only thing holding the brake, master brake cylinder in place is uh, the brake line going from the brake uh, fuel brake fluid reservoir down to the brake master cylinder itself. So progress. Another one for my bucket. Okay, so the very last thing holding it in is a 10 millimeter bolt there that holds the brake reservoir to that brake line, which is in turn connected to the brake cylinder down there. I'm just undoing that now. That's a handy magnet. So that's the bolt that's holding the brake reservoir in place. And there's a washer as well. Well, we don't need to worry about too much about that. The washer. Okay. There's the washer. And how long is this? Here it is. Is the sound I like. It's the sound of the brake cylinder coming out. Come on. Come out. Come out. Come on. And the cables. Oh, come on. You can do it. Yes. 
And that is a result. Look at that. Brake master cylinder. It's taken me a few hours to get it out. But there it is. There's the reservoir. This tubing is really crap. I should replace it. Doesn't look good at all. But there it is. Brake master cylinder. And that's where the plunger pushes in. That has to be all cleaned, fixed. Hopefully I'll get it back into ship shape. Hopefully. Oh, what a job it was to remove that. Thank you for watching.